Hi, my name is Kevin Adolphs and I'm the Utilities Operator here at Fishhawk Lake. I'm here today to give you a brief tour of the water treatment plant here at Fishhawk Lake. Um, you'll see Fishhawk Creek here is behind me. It's a year-round running stream. Uh, it's typically, we're affected a little bit by logging operations upstream and uh, we're subject to our heavy rains here causing a lot of turbidity in the water, dirt in the water. Right here I'm standing on top of the intake structure here and we, um, there's a pump down in here that will carry the water from the creek. There's an intake below here. The water's carried from here around over into what we call the raw water building. This building used to be the filter and when uh, we over the time have removed the old filter media and piping that was there and this is now basically, basically a pre-sedimentation building. And from here, the water enters in on the west, the west side of the building, uh, up at this end, and then it travels over and under the curtains or baffles that we installed in, the, in there, travels back underneath over uh, a, a hole through the wall, and then back to the other side. And anyway, the, this time that uh, the water comes in here, it allows it to settle out. The dirt particles in here can settle out. Now on this end here, we've got a pump that's failed, and here's the new one that we're going to replace it with. We've been using um, uh, submersible pumps, and we're not going to pumps that are going to be mounted above the water line here. We think we're going to have a lot better luck with these and have less problems with maintenance on them. But again, uh, right over there, there's a submersible pump in the corner. Uh, you can see there's heat tape on there to prevent them from freezing in the wintertime. So this is a work in progress. We'll get ready to change this out soon here and we'll have another one coming uh, next fiscal year. The water travels up the two-inch pipe there and then heads on over into the water treatment plant. The water then comes into the water treatment plant through this uh, Schedule 80 PVC piping. Comes in here and then we have our chemical vats. There's another one here behind, we'll get to in a bit. Uh, we use uh, polymer. It's What's a, polymer, Kevin? Polymer is a uh, polyaluminum chloride. It's a chemical that's used in water treatment. It causes uh, the uh, coagulation flocculation process, which our filter gets out, um, you know, where it takes the, the particles that are made out of the water. Uh, anyway, the polymer causes those to happen. So, this one, this is on, it pumps the, it pumps the chemical up in here, uh, runs in, mixes with the water right here, and then goes through a flash mixer, which basically um, takes the water and mixes it very, very well. So it basically just mashes the water together with the chemical in it. Uh, then goes through the flow meter and into the bottom of the tank. From that point, uh, there's a there's several com compartments in this filter. All right, let me go up uh, if you don't mind. I'm going to go up the ladder. Okay. And take a look. Yes. So you keep talking. Anyway, so if you go up in here, you look and see what's happening. Hold on, I'm going up the ladder. Okay, and here there we are. are. Several, several compartments here. So the water enters into this uh, center compartment. Okay. And then from there, there are um, baffles and ports down in the lower portion of this. And what this is designed to do is to slow the water down. As you can see, when the water was coming through the pipe coming in, it's coming in very quickly. Uh, from when it enters into this tank, then it's slower. Uh, it slows down as it enters into this tank and it rises up. And again, it was all been mixed already. And then from this tank, it goes out to the two side tanks, which causes the water to slow down further. And then from those two smaller tanks to a much larger tank, which causes the water to slow down yet again. The slowing down allows for the, the coagulation and flocculation process. So uh, the clumps of organic matter and color in the water, the, the constituents of the water that are, that are the impurities that we want to take out, those, can, uh, those will be taken out by this process. So as this travels through the filter box this way, mm -hmm. it goes through and then um, up over the top over here into the one over here. This one it goes this over there okay. and then it, so as it rises up, so all these particles form in here over time. And as it goes over into that box, then it flows over into the actual filter box over, the, over on the end, yes. On the end, over here. Right, okay. and then in that filter box, 
The, uh, the filter media is down underneath there, and there's uh, three layers of uh, sand. There's a coarse sand, a finer sand, and then an anthracite uh, sand that goes on top of that. Um, again, the, the particles stick to the top of the filter bed while water's going through it. Um, it. As they stick to that, the water just passes through itself and then you don't have the, all those particles. At some point this gets dirty and then as you can see the center section is a trough. The trough is that is this made, one, Kevin? Yeah, in the okay. middle trough there is made to uh, carry the wastewater out of the plant. So. Uh, we backwash the plant and then this process is reversed. We shut the water going through the plant off, use finished water from our system to back flush up through the filter and you get a lot of dirt uh, and sediment goes over into this trough and then that's carried over down to a sewer manhole on the end of the building and then out to the sewer system ends up actually in our sewer plant. Okay, good deal. Thank you. Mm -hmm.